Jesus Christ, who is he? Even many people who are not Christians believe that he was a great and wise teacher. He was certainly one of the most influential people who ever lived, the World Book Encyclopedia. Who is he? Jesus Christ, the founder of Christianity. Do you know who he is? Does he in any way affect your life? The events of Jesus' ministry are recorded in the Bible in four historical works called the Gospels. How genuine are these accounts? Well, after analysing them, the well-known historian Will Geront wrote that a few simple men should in one generation have invented so powerful and appealing a personality, so lofty an ethic and so inspiring a vision of human brotherhood would be a miracle far more incredible than any recorded in the Gospels. To millions of people in the Orient and elsewhere though, Jesus Christ is a stranger. They may believe that he existed, but they do not think that he has any bearing on their lives. Others dismiss Jesus as unworthy of attention because of what professed followers have done. They dropped an atom bomb on Nagasakai, some in Japan would say, a city with more Christians than most cities in Japan. Yet would you blame a physician for a patient's illness if a patient failed to stick to the doctor's prescription? Obviously not. People of Christendom have long ignored Jesus' prescription for overcoming their day-to-day -day problems. So rather than reject Jesus because of so-called Christians, who do you not follow in his instructions? Why not learn something about him for yourself? Look into the Bible and see who Jesus really is and how he can change even your life. Love, his prescription. Jesus Christ was a great teacher who lived in Palestine almost 2,000 years ago. Very little is known about his childhood. When he became 30 years of age, Jesus started his ministry to bear witness to the truth. The four historical reporters of Jesus' life focused on his public ministry, the last three and a half years of his earthly sojourn. During his ministry, Jesus gave his disciples the key to dealing with various problems in their lives. What was that key? It was love. In one of the best known sermons in history, called the Sermon of the Mount, Jesus taught his disciples how to show love for hum fellow humans. He said, All things therefore what you want men to do to you, you also must likewise do to them. Matthew 7.12 this principle is called the Golden Rule. The men that Jesus referred to here include even one's enemies. In the same sermon he said, Continue to love your enemies and to pray for those persecuting you. Matthew 5.44 Would not such love solve many of the problems that we face today? Well, Hindu leaders Mohandas Gandhi thought so. He is quoted as saying, when we shall get together on the teachings laid down by Christ in the Sermon of the Mount, we shall have solved the problems of the whole world. Jesus' teachings on love, if applied, can cure mankind's ills. His love in action. Jesus practiced what he taught. He put the interests of others ahead of his own and demonstrated love in action. One day, Jesus and his disciples were ministering to many people without taking time to eat a meal. Jesus saw the need for his disciples to rest up a bit, so they headed to a lonely place, but a crowd got ahead of them and were waiting for their arrival. How would you have responded if you had been in Jesus' position? Well, Jesus was moved with pity for them and started to teach them many things. Matthew 6, 30-34 this strong feeling of pity moved him to offer assistance to others. What Jesus did for the benefit of others was not limited to spiritual teaching. He also extended practical help. For example, he fed 5,000 men, in addition to women and children, who had been listening to him until late one day. He fed another 4,000 in a later instance. On an earlier occasion, he used five loaves of bread and two fish 
and of the latter, seven loaves and a few little fish. Miracles? Yes, he was a miracle worker. Jesus also healed many ailing ones. He cured the blind, the lame, the lepers and the deaf. Why he even raised the dead? Once a leper entreated him, if you just want to, you can make me clean. How did Jesus respond? He stretched out his hand and touched him, and said to him, I want to be made clean. Jesus was moved by a strong desire to help them. Through such miracles, he demonstrated his love for the afflicted. Hard to believe? But Jesus performed most of his miracles in public. Even his opposers, who tried to find fault with him on every occasion, could not deny the fact that he performed miracles. John 9, verses 1 to 34. Besides, his miracles had a purpose. They helped people to identify Jesus as the one sent by God. John 6, 14. Just briefly considering Jesus' teachings and his life endears him to us and moves us to want to imitate his love. Yet that is not the only way Jesus can affect your life. He was not just a great teacher who taught love. He indicated that he had a pre-human existence as the only begotten Son of God. He also has a post-human existence which makes him even more significant to you. The Bible indicates that Jesus was raised up and is now enthroned as King of God's Kingdom. Revelation 11, 15 Jesus said, This means everlasting life, by taking in knowledge of you, the only true God, and of the one whom you sent forth, Jesus Christ. Indeed, taking in knowledge of Jesus Christ can mean endless life in paradise. How can that be? Well, why not learn more about Jesus and see how the love of the Christ has compelled us to imitate him. Jehovah's Witnesses will be happy to help you. If you would like a free home Bible study at a time and place to suit you, please navigate your browser to jw.org and follow the links online. Thank you for listening.